Hey, hey, everybody, this is Melina from scrapbookandwithme.com and Me Crafty Scrapper here on YouTube and Instagram and Me Crafty Scrapper Creates over on Facebook. Um, today I wanted to share with you a very, very simple pocket, a wraparound pocket um, that you can use with book pages or directional papers and the pattern is going to come out upright every time the words on your book pages are going to come out upright and correct in the correct way every time and i don't know why i didn't think of this sooner and probably everybody else out there in youtube land has already thought of this and knows knows this so if you do just go along with me humor me lila rose you need to go on now Get off the carpet. You're too cute. Um, here is the pocket. Come here. Are you wanting on there? Go come here. And now she runs away. She's a little tease. Um, here is the pocket. It is wrap around. I don't have it glued in yet because I wanted to show y'all. I just have it paper clipped on. So see that bottom paper that is the pocket itself. The wording is up right. Ain't that cool? I know that when I use a directional paper and I'm wanting to make some pockets, it's very hard to do so without cutting that paper. And then when you cut it, it's not as sturdy. The pocket isn't anyway. You have to layer it up. So I was like, okay, how can I make this pocket and it be sturdy? and me not have to cut it and all of the pieces you know it's just one good piece one full whole piece and i don't have to cut anything to make it thinner or weaker and i come up with this so i have this book page i have another piece of scrap cardstock it was a bigger piece of cardstock and I will show you the way to do it on this also and look it is empty nothing on the back side it's just one-sided cardstock and then it's got directional stuff on this side so you know kind of nightmarish if you're wanting to make a <laughs> pocket out of it so here we go easiest thing ever you fold it in half okay and then this top piece that you folded in half fold down there it is y'all <laughs> how simple is that and then to get it wrap around you just fold it in half the other way okay and then all you're going to do first off i'm going to ink my edges just because i want my edges inked and I'll show you where I glue, but y'all already know that. Y'all can see. Y'all see where you're supposed to glue. Okay. Just inking all my edges. And then down the sides. And then I'm going to ink my fold that's going to be the wraparound part. And then the bottom on both sides. Oh, and then the pocket part itself here. Need to ink that. I looked over at that other one that I did off camera as my prototype and made sure I did that. So see, there it is. All you have to do now is get your liquid glue and put you just a little stream of it down the sides here and on the bottom here and then fold that down so you've got your wording straight here your wording straight here and then you're going to fold that down and put just a little line of liquid glue on the back side of that pocket you don't even have to put any there if you don't want to 
and there she comes running back to me again. Oh, she's eating now, but she still, when I put her, put my hand down, she's not going to want to come to me. Come here. She's got her little tail nub wagon, but she's eating right now, or I would show her to you. Right, and then that's it. That's the whole pocket. So, same thing. I'll show you in this journal. So then you would just um, glue it here and here, and you would have a pocket there and a pocket there on both sides of so four pockets. Or you could do it where you glue it on the back side here and here, and you could have a tuck here and a pocket here, whichever way you wanted to do that. So here is the pattern paper. Now this piece of pattern paper is about the size of a large book page. It is five and a half inches wide by eight inches tall. So I'm just going to fold it up. Whatever uh, pattern you're wanting to show on the back side of your pocket here is where you need to fold up onto. How easy is this? So easy, y'all probably already knew how to do it. All right, and then you just fold that top piece down in half, and you can get a bone folder, especially with cardstock if you need to. So easy, a kindergartner could do it. So there's that. I'm just going to Put some glue on the back side here. I'll have to get my messy rag to clean up that excess glue because I put way too much under there. And then look at all that glue coming out. I'm going to ink my edges. You could even um, round your corners if you wanted to with this that would be cute I love that um, let's go ahead and do that on this one and round that corner and this one and then those two And I'll have to ink those again. Lila Rose. She's in here keeping me company today, but she doesn't want to come to me. She don't want me to pick her up. She still is not a fan of this desk. She doesn't like the desk. There she is. Thank you for the kisses. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you for the kisses. There he is. So I got my fur all cut and kind of like a bald eagle. I show more, uh, Bethany put her hair, uh, what hair's left. She put it up in uh, some bows and I show that on the um, next M Scrap Busters video. But for whatever the reason, the groomer didn't want to cut any of her body fur. <laughs> But, I mean, she cut the hound out of her head and her paws. <laughs> her looks like a little fox. Yeah. Her looks like a little fox. Alright, so anyway. Got that inked. I need to ink the bottom here. Okay. And then we would fold this in half and now with cardstock it's going to give you a little bit more resistance because it's thicker than book page but it'll still do it okay and then ink your fold on both sides cute and let's get this and put it in here like this 
How cute is that? That is so cute. And so then you would glue there and glue there to have a pocket out here. And then your inside pocket, of course, you need to glue down your pockets on the edges there. I've already folded this, so I can't do anything else with it. So might as well. Huh. And everything on the directional paper is the right side up. I love it. I just love it. I think these are so cute and so simple and everybody could do this you don't have to be a rocket scientist to do this <laughs> cute little pockets for our journals just love them anyway that's all I had to show you today I just wanted to show them to you I thought they were super duper cute and um, I thought if somebody else hasn't thought of this I want to show them so here you go there's your little pockets and you could even put them on the uh, middle of the page and make them a little um, tuck if you wanted to cute cute little things all right there you go that's it that's all I was going to show you I just figured it out and thought mm, I'll do a little short video and show them how to do it Y'all have a great day. Love ya. See you in the next video. Bye, y'all.